Hi, I'm Dr. Lauren Bruber. For this week's video, I'm going to be going over how to write your secondary application for medical school. Last week was all about your work and activity section, so if you missed that video, make sure you check it out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to never miss a video. So today, I'm going to talk about when the schools send out the secondary prompts, how long you should wait before returning them, and we'll also go over some common prompts to help you prepare in advance. So let's get started. So when can you actually expect to receive secondary essays from the medical schools? So usually the best answer to this is it depends. Basically, it's going to be a mix of how long it takes AMCAS to process your actual application. So that's usually about six weeks in the busy season, plus how long it takes the actual med schools themselves to process your application. Some med schools will just send out their secondary applications to every student, whereas others will have some type of cutoff process. So depending on how long it takes the schools to do that and how long it takes AMCAS to actually process your application, it can really be anywhere from six weeks plus before you receive your secondary application. Second of all, we have how long should you wait before you submit this new application? So basically, you want to be submitting it within less than two weeks. The point of this is to show interest, dedication to the school. The med schools want to know that they are a priority to you. And by submitting your application early, you can show them this. Great, so let's get on to the stuff that you all came here to hear. So what are common prompts for secondary application essays? And how can you go about addressing them? So I'm going to go through kind of the five most common prompts that we see. I've also posted a link below this video so that you guys can check out our list of prompts for various schools and see what schools that you're interested in have posted in the past. So in terms of common prompts, let's get started. So our first most common prompt is why our school? And the key component of answering this question is actually doing your research on the school. I can't emphasize this enough. Research, research, research. It shows an interest in the school and that you're dedicated to their program. You want to find out things like what type of population are they dedicated to serving? What are their values and mission statements? What kind of research opportunities do they have? And what extracurriculars and enriching experiences do they offer their students? So that could be things like global health or community outreach or whatever it is. The next thing you want to do is take a look at your own resume and find experiences that you had that were similar that you maybe want to continue you know, enhancing your learning on. You're then going to write an essay kind of outlining your past experience and how you want to continue to build upon the skills that you learned during that experience through attending this school. You want to expand upon why you'll be a good fit. And this can include social things, like maybe you have social support or family in the area. That's a great thing to include in your Why Us essay as well. Once you've thought about all the reasons why this school is going to be a good fit for you, you want to create an organized paragraph that's going to explain those, those ideas clearly to the admissions committee. Our second most common prompt is the cultural competency prompt. So cultural competency is hugely important to medical schools as doctors are faced with dealing with increasingly diverse populations. What they're really looking for here is diversity of experience. Do you have experience dealing with people from different cultures, backgrounds, sexual orientations, ages, whatever it is? You want to use an example here that shows you dealing with someone who's outside your normal realm of experience. Great ideas while you're brainstorming for this prompt include a time when you used problem solving skills to help someone from a social cultural background different from your own, a time when you advocated on behalf of someone from a different social cultural background from your own, a time you used your communication skills to overcome a language barrier and help someone from a different cultural background. You get where I'm going with this. Basically, you wanna show yourself using those teamwork, leadership, communication or advocacy skills to help someone who comes from a background that's wildly diverse from your own. Realistically, as physicians, we need to be able to approach people with different values and different beliefs in a respectful and non-judgmental way, and we need to seek understanding of what those values and beliefs are so that we can treat them and manage them effectively. It's part of caring for the whole patient, and that's why med schools place so much value on this type of prompt. Next, we have the overcoming challenges prompt. So what this overcoming challenges prompt is looking for is what medical schools typically refer to as resilience. Practicing medicine and going through medical school training is typically stressful. And in order to be successful, you need to have ways of coping with and managing stress. So med schools are looking for individuals who already demonstrate those skills throughout undergrad. 
Good ideas when you're thinking about addressing this prompt could include a time when things didn't go according to plan, how you overcame a setback, overcoming an illness or injury personally, or that of a close family member or friend. When you're thinking of this prompt, you want to outline the scenario, what happened, what you did to deal with it, and finally, what you learned from the experience and how that will apply to your future. Next, we have the future goals prompt. For this prompt, medical schools may ask you where you see yourself 10 years down the road or what your career goals are. What they're looking for here is really that you've reflected on where a career on, in medicine will bring you. They want to see that you know what your goals are and how a career in medicine will actually help you to achieve them. In order to answer this prompt, you don't actually have to know specifically what specialty you want to go into. A lot of students go into medicine not knowing what specialty they wish to pursue. And that's absolutely okay because a lot of students change their mind during med school. It's okay in this case to say that you hope to continue to explore a variety of careers while in medical school. What you really want to be thinking about addressing this prompt is what's motivating you to pursue medicine? What are you looking for at the end of the day? And how is this career path going to help you achieve that? In answering this prompt, you want to choose a specific experience, maybe while you were shadowing a doctor or volunteering, that inspired you to pursue medicine. And then think about what about that experience made you believe that medicine was the correct career for you. And then finally, kind of relate that to your future and where you see that taking you. Finally, we have the academic lapses or academic breaks prompt. So for this prompt, it's the admissions committee giving you a chance to explain any academic lapses or breaks that happened within your transcript. Basically, what you want to do is briefly outline the situation that caused the academic lapse or break without placing blame on anyone else. And then you want to explain kind of what you learned from the situation, what you did to overcome it, and how you will use those skills to overcome similar situations in the future. Essentially, you want to turn it around and make it a positive thing and a great learning experience. You want to show medical schools that you built resilience through this and that you learn skills to handle adversity in the future. All right, so those are our five most common secondary essay prompts. I definitely recommend pre-writing essays for all of these prompts. You want to be starting almost as soon as, you, as you've submitted your actual AMCAS primary application so that they're ready, edited, and good to go for the, by the time the secondary start rolling in. If you guys have any more questions about secondary essay prompts, make sure you check out the two blog posts I've posted off to the side. They're full of great tips and tricks and ideas on how to actually format your paragraphs. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I hope to see you all next week.